Hello, Kauai. Here's our daily COVID-19 briefing from Team Kauai for Saturday, April 4th. Our number of total confirmed cases remains at 15. Of those 15 cases, seven individuals have either recovered or returned to their home on the mainland. The remaining eight active cases are residents. Seven are in home isolation and one remains in isolation in the hospital. All of Kauai's cases still are travel related and there is no evidence of community spread. Kauai's tally of cases and other information on COVID-19 can be found on Kauai Emergency Management Agency or Kima site at www.kauai.gov forward slash COVID-19. To view the total number of positive cases across the state, please visit hawaiicovid19.com. The daily count on this site is updated at noon every day. We need to say something about the importance of quarantines, which are required by the Department of Health, people who have been exposed to confirmed cases of COVID-19. We need to be clear at the county we have received reports of selfish individuals violating the quarantine and we have responded strongly. These people are willing to risk the health and safety of others for their personal gain while others are sacrificing Sacrificing their jobs, sacrificing their freedom, sacrificing everything that we all want to do, there still remains a minority of few individuals who should be quarantining that are selfish enough to jeopardize the efforts of our EOC operation, who have been working seven days a week, that will come in for seven days a week and be on call for 24 hours a day, until we get out of this, for our healthcare workers that are out there grinding away, for our firefighters, our paramedics, our law enforcement officers, our grocery clerks out there that are working, our restaurant workers that are working, for everybody that is making sacrifices in the name of the health and safety of our kupuna and those that are most vulnerable, there are still individuals who are willing to sacrifice all of that to put their own selfish needs in front of the needs of our community. These folks are covid and it's not going to be tolerated. And I'm sorry for being passionate, but when everybody is putting their own personal needs aside as a community effort, to have a few folks undermine this operation is unacceptable and will not be tolerated. Compliance with the Department of Health quarantine order is not optional. You must comply to protect our community. If you do not comply, the Department of Health can get a court order and there are legal consequences. As residents, we all have a responsibility to protect each other and our community. Please keep doing all you can to prevent transmitting this disease. The health crisis is like a slow hurricane, and we are not there through the eye yet. However, there is evidence our efforts to flatten the curve is working. We still have only travel-related cases, and the slowing of the spread of disease means we have more time to prepare when the peak of cases hits. By you staying at home, it is helping the cause. However, as stay-at-home orders cascade across the nation, it's important that we recognize the cost is having on our economy, our small businesses and dining tables across the country. A week ago, Congress passed a massive $2.2 trillion stimulus package. Because of the size of the stimulus, our county departments from transportation to housing have been gathering details about the stimulus, how it supports our response to COVID-19 how it tees up stop the gap supports for our, co for our communities and provide support for our recovery. Our team has been in touch with Senators Schatz and Hirono and we're ramping up our efforts across our departments to either prepare to receive funds or compete for funds where required. Here are some details we can share that impacts both households and small businesses. The most immediate item of support for you from the stimulus will come as a direct payment from the United States Treasury. Individuals will receive up to $1,200 
Married couples will get up to $2,400, plus $500 will be added for every child. The amount you receive will depend on your adjusted gross income. We will repost a calculator made by the Washington Post on our Facebook page that can help calculate what you may be eligible to receive. If you have received your tax returns via direct deposit, your check will be directly deposited into that bank account. Otherwise, your check will be mailed to your last known address. The timeline for check issuance is approximately three weeks. The bill also provides $260 billion nationwide for expanding unemployment insurance. The expanded unemployment benefits provide support for self-employed individuals, part-time workers, and workers with limited work histories. This will provide for additional funds on top of the benefits you're expected to receive from the state. On that note, we know that many of you have had concern of concerns about accessing the state's unemployment insurance website. We are aware that the Hawaii Department of Labor and Industrial Relations has been adding to their server capacity to handle the overwhelming number of applications. Please continue to stay updated on the specifics of the program by going to the unemployment website at uiclaims.hawaii.gov. With respect to our small businesses on island, the CARES Act temporarily expands eligibility for SBA economic injury disaster loans and provides an, an emergency advance of up to $10,000 to small businesses and nonprofits within three days of applying for an SBA economic injury disaster loan. You must first apply for a loan, then request the advance. In addition to the entities that are already eligible for SBA loans, eligibility is temporarily expanded to include other categories of small businesses, such as independent contractors and sole proprietorships. Go to sba.gov for more details. In addition to the economic injury disaster loans that are available directly from the SBA, small businesses can also apply for the Paycheck Protection Program Loan, or commonly known as the PPP program. This loan is intended, intended to provide cash flow assistance to help businesses maintain their employees. Loan funds can be used to cover the cost of payroll and other eligible expenses such as business rent and utility payments as long as the businesses maintain their employees. They can receive forgiveness for eight weeks worth of payroll expenses. The loans are available through local lenders. Small businesses are already eligible to apply and self-employed or sole proprietors may start applying on April 10th. You may apply for the PPP program until June 30th, so don't wait. Again, visit sba.gov for more details. Also, we continue to work with the Kauai Chamber of Commerce on posting resources available to businesses through the CARES Act and other support opportunities for our business community as we learn of them. Please visit the Office of Economic Development website at www.kauai.gov forward slash OED or the Chamber website at covid19kauai.com. Also, Recognizing the need for short-term economic strategies in response to the COVID-19 pandemic, we have created the Kauai Economic Recovery Committee. This effort is led by an executive committee comprised of representatives from the Office of Economic Development, the Kauai Chamber of Commerce, Kauai Visitors Bureau, and Kauai Economic Development Board. The team has been meeting daily to assess the current needs of Kauai residents and businesses. Additionally, Sector committees are being formed to represent each of the main industries on Kauai. Through this effort, our mission is to implement short-term economic relief efforts, as well as develop long-term recovery strategies. This is also an opportunity to identify ways to innovate and improve each industry. We all know times are getting tough and have a ways to still go. However, let's have faith in each other and know that we here on Kauai have a resilient spirit and together we can rise from this current challenge. We are stronger together. As stated yesterday, in line with new CDC recommendations, we are strongly recommending that all businesses and services require your employees to wear cloth masks. We are also strongly urge, urging all public facing businesses 
to require your customers over the age of 10 to wear cloth masks to enter your business. Additionally, we are strongly encouraging all individuals over the age of 10 to wear a cloth mask or face covering anytime you're outside in the public. Remember folks, my mask protects you and your mask protects me. Let's work together to protect each other from coronavirus. We can also protect each other by staying home as much as possible, refrain from social gatherings or public outings. If you must interact with people outside of your home, keep a distance of six feet of separation and wear a mask. Do not leave home if you are sick, unless you are seeking medical attention. And then, only after calling your doctor first. Wash your hands frequently and clean surfaces often. We're going to get through this Kauai, stay informed and connected during this time of social distancing. We'll continue to post updates on our official County of Kauai Facebook page or on our Kauai Emergency Management Agency page at www.kauai.gov forward slash COVID-19. The Center for Disease Control is also updating its website regularly with detailed guidance related to COVID-19. For more information, please visit coronavirus.gov. Not everyone has internet access or follows the news, so please help to keep your loved ones informed. Lastly, there are many hands working here at the EOC to protect our island and get the word out to you. We're going to take full advantage of him having a day off today and highlight who's the important hand behind the camera that gets these daily updates to you daily. Tai Hiranaka is a local boy done good who left the lights of Honolulu and the likes of news stations like KHON to come home and work for Hoike Public Access TV. Tai has been in the EOC since the beginning and his quick work in videoing, editing and captioning is why we are able to communicate to all of you so readily. We want to extend a big mahalo to Tai and Hoike for his continued critical role in the emergency operation and we hope he's enjoying his Saturday off. Once again, Kauai, we can do this. Hang in there. Take care of one another. God bless and aloha.